questions, and I'll answer all of your questions for you, okay? Why is it a sin for us to love who we love and be who we are if that's all that God really wanted us? He died for our sins, but now people are dying because apparently he said we can't be who we want to be. Okay, why is it a sin for you to be who you are? Because God has set a standard in his word for what is true. And what is true is that a man should be with a woman, not a man with a man, not a woman with a woman. God has said in his word that homosexuality is wrong. It's unrighteous. And those who are homosexuals or lesbians, they can't inherit the kingdom of God. So if they stay in that lifestyle, if they stay that way, they're gonna perish and go to the lake of fire. But the good news is that Jesus Christ, he died for all homosexuals. He died for all sinners of all time. He shed his blood to give them forgiveness of that. They don't have to stay a homosexual. Jesus Christ can transform them and make them new. The Bible says if any man be in Christ, he's a new creature. Old things have passed away. Behold, all things have, are, are made new. Jesus Christ wants to forgive a homosexual of their sins. He wants to forgive the lesbian. He can make the lesbian straight. He can make the homosexual straight. But they have to be willing to give up their sins. It's God's standard. It's not our standard. We can't make up a standard and say, well, because we like it, then that's what we think is right. God has already said what is right. And what he said is right is a man and a woman. Your body was designed to be with a man. The parts are complementary. Your body was not designed to be with a woman. My body was not designed to be with a man. That's not true because guys have G spots in their ass. Guys have a, 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 a prostate within their rectum so that they can enjoy a bowel movement, not so that they can enjoy penetration. That's a whole different thing. The, the, okay, so so the anus is not for penetration. The anus is for defecation and flatulation. And guys insert this penis in there, that's, that's unnatural, that's ungodly. And this is why when a man and a woman come together and they're about to have sex, the vagina naturally lubricates because that's where the penis is supposed to go. When a man and a man get together, the anus does not naturally lubricate. That is against the man's design. He wasn't designed for that. And that's why they have to use a lubricant because it's not natural. Because we're in a public place and we want to make sure that we're correctly representing what we say because a lot of people will lie and say, hey, we said certain things that we didn't say or somebody will try to jump on us and we got proof of it. And also, yeah, it very well may be because this is a public forum and this is a public place. But we want other Christians to see this for them to be encouraged as well to go out and share the gospel of Jesus Christ. So doing it to prove like that you guys are calm protesters just trying to say what you believe and not trying to hurt anybody and stuff like that. Well, first of all, we're not protesters. We're out here uh, uh, preaching the gospel of Jesus Christ. Yeah, so that's not protest. That's that's just us fulfilling the Great Commission. Jesus told all of his disciples, he said, go into all the world and teach them the things that I have taught you. And then we as Christians go out and we do that, all right? So that's what we're out here to do. Now, some people like this woman right here and other people, they're not gonna receive what we have to say and we understand that. But Jesus said, it's not the healthy who need the doctor, it's the sick. I've come not to call the righteous, but sinners to repentance. Jesus said he was willing to leave the 99 righteous people and come after the lost one. So there may be one of you out here, just one. There may be one person who will hear our words. Maybe it's you. Maybe something will sink down inside of your soul today. Maybe you will be convicted. There may be one person a day that may be impacted, and that was the person that we were out here for. So not everybody is going to be impacted by our message, and we understand that. Second. Okay. So to, so, so, to continue my, so to continue my point, 
You see, people that are that are homosexual, a lot of times they try to pass that off on on other people who are straight. That that's as that's as ig that's as ignorant as me saying to the gay person, you need to come out because you're straight. Or that's as ignorant as me as a Christian to say to the atheist, you need to come out of the closet as a Christian. Those are very ignorant arguments. We hear that all the time, and we're out here to show you love. If we truly hated you, we would sit back and just allow people to go to hell. We would just allow to you to go to hell if we didn't love you. But because we love you, we are willing to stand out here and take this abuse. We are willing to stand out here and deal with all of this so that we can find the one. No, it doesn't. The Bible. Listen, let me answer her question. The Bible doesn't condone slavery. The Bible shows the true condition of man. It shows that men did. I don't think it, it, sh it, 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 it shows. Hold on. The Bible shows that slavery actually happened, okay? But God was not okay with slavery. Remember, he told Moses to go and tell Pharaoh to let my people go. God does not like slavery. What other questions do you have? Can I give you something before you go? Okay, hold on. I want to give both of this to you. Please read it. And if you ever have any more questions, go to that website that's on the back. And my email is on the homepage. You can send me a personal message. Ask all the questions you want and I'll answer you. What, what's your name? Samantha. Samantha, I'm Terry. Nice to meet you, Samantha. What's your name? Aaron. Nice to meet you, Aaron. God bless you.